There we go. Yeah. That was working. That's great. And you have to keep us it. on track if you don't mind. I know. I what, why have you got a time limit today too? I have one. Ninety minutes. No, so I know you have to... one because uh, you got. I got your email. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. We uh we moved the Chen talk up a little bit. That's Andy's okay. Sick. Andy's a busy man. We're all busy <laughs> these days. We've got a lot going on, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. And Daniela just told me we had some kind of weird eclipse. And I, I don't do well with eclipses. I'm not going to lie we about that. We had a lunar they, eclipse, and we're about to have a solar next in two weeks. I know. They always have, it seems like, back-to-back -back like that. And they just really mess with me. And I could not sleep last night. Leo slept through the yeah. whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> he slept through it. He didn't have any issues. Well, yeah, okay, okay. All right. Well, hmm. Well, if one of us is not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the energies were intense last night. I could not get to sleep either. I was up till two. You weren't o sleeping. Laying in my, I was from midnight to two a.m. I was laying in my bed, staring at the ceiling, going, "Come on!" <laughs> like, I took my time and everything. <laughs> I did the <laughs> same, I... same crazy thing. I don't sleep well anyway, but you throw something like that into the mix, and I'm a mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go Good morning, on. everyone. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you all. Daniela was the first one to comment. Good morning, Daniela. <laughs> She's quick today. <laughs> She's adorable. She says Leo is a champ, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Leo got a shave, which he's naked now almost completely. He's Lady got the lion a good... cut now. He's got the, the tuft here and the rest. <laughs> yeah. He does have a tough tail. He's got tough little feeties, little booties. And then he's got little little jowls like that, but the rest of him is totally naked. And he's like, I'm cold. <laughs> I'm really cold oh, now. Bless. I'll send him some more catnip too. Okay, that'll be fun. <laughs> he will he will like it. He gets goofy on my cat lip. Cat lip, catnip. Yeah. He gets zoomy. <laughs> oh, that's good. I wonder what it does for them. I bet you it's uh fun stuff for them. They love it. Rolling other cats, it. other cats I've had, they sniff it, they roll around in it, they play in it. He eats it. He actually <laughs> eats it right off a plate, and then he gets, "Oh, I'm happy now." Okay, <laughs> all right. Oh, then. I have to read. I have to read Dawn's comment. She goes, "I highly recommend booking a session with Angelica and Siddhartha. I absolutely loved my sessions. The guidance and healing I received was amazing and so comforting. Love to you both." Thank you, Laura, for having them on your show. Your role in my journey has been huge. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Don. Much love. That's sweet. That's so sweet. She's it a is. lovely person. Very lovely. All the people I've met, for the most part, have been lovely people. You know, been Everyone in this soul group is just amazing. And I, I think that's one of the reasons why we were chosen for this is, uh, you know, we need to have strength of character in order to do this work. Well, yeah, you do. You need that. Uh, you need some common sense. You need some, um, there's all kind of sirens going by. Uh, you need some intuitive ability. You know, you need a lot of things to do this kind of, I, I have people all the time and it freaks me out. I'm not going to lie. They run up to me and they say, I want to be you. And I'm like, oh no, you really <laughs> don't want to be me. No, you don't. No, 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 no. Be careful what you wish for. I've had people say that to me on numerous occasions, and I'm just stunned because what I see is not always good things. I mean, I see people's past sometimes. I see what might happen to them. I see lots of really horrific things because it's part of human nature that we sometimes suffer really bad things, you know? Mm, and yeah. um, people... Be careful what you wish for. Just saying, really be careful what you wish for. Uh, you get sort of used to it, not exactly, but I mean, I've seen plane crashes. I've seen car crashes. I've seen houses burning down. I mean, these are things that are not easy to live with, and people suffer a lot of pretty horrific things sometimes, and it, it makes me very sad, but um, usually we can give some relief to that, you know. He's really good at kind of just taking that from people when it's too much for them to deal with he says okay we'll just take it i don't know how he does it don't ask me but he's really good at it he's really good at it i'm sure he's good at a lot of things he was delighted 
was your birthday wish yesterday. So thank you very much. <laughs> I will say, I don't know when his birthday was or is. I don't think anybody could possibly know because they didn't write things down then. He says he and, believes it's March 25th. So we'll just well, keep it at that. He might, Possibly if not. he says that, I believe him. Uh, other people <laughs> might, but I certainly do. He's good like that. Did I also hear from somebody that Jesus was born in March? I'm just curious. Because I, I heard that the December is not Yeshua's December birthday. December is not his birthday. No. Uh, the um, Basically, historically, apparently, uh, he was born at a different time, but there was a pagan holiday on December 25th. Yes. So, uh, you know, I believe it was Constantine or Constant Constantinople, one of those two people who usurped uh, that date so that they could stick in this Christian holiday. So um, yeah. they, that they happened a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, yeah. if you look at things like Halloween, there's all Hallow's Eve. You know, there are all these, because the, the pagans were very concentrated at that period of time, and the Christian folks wanted them gone, so that's what they did. That was a way to sort of say, okay, we're going to take that holiday and make it this. Mm -hmm. I like what Dawn says, mean. and then his birthday changes with timelines. That's probably true, yeah. That is probably true. And uh, anyway, if he says that's what it is, I'll go with it. <laughs> I'm, good with, I'm good with that. <laughs> but yeah. he was so happy. You remembered. He was so happy about that. That's funny. It's been it's been crazy. Yeah, they're talking about a, how a bridge went down in the comments. Uh, yeah, there's a not far from me actually. There's a massive bridge that was hit by a container ship, and the entire bridge came down. Oh heavens! massive bridge that's been up for like 40 years yeah it was a big event lots of weird stuff is going on right now though you know you can tell the energies are pretty intense we've had a lot of solar flares and geomagnetic activity and the schumann's going all over so yeah it's been uh it's been a very eventful week just this I week try, alone so far i try not to pay too much attention to things in the world because it always comes back to me somewhere Smart. or another anyway but what's interesting is I'm like my own radar. Like there was no sleeping last night. I tried. I really tried. And I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. And it doesn't surprise me to know there's not one but another eclipse coming. And it's like, oh, that's what it is. Eclipses mm -hmm. come. Some people love them. I want to crawl under the bed with the cat. That's what I want. Even full and moons. Even sit. with the full moon, I I was blaming the full moon last night. It was just beaming in my window, and I kept looking at it like I know you're why I can't sleep right now. <laughs> like, I, that happens to me too. I see it kind of. Uh, my house is sort of in the middle of a hill, and I can see it over the horizon as it's coming over, you know, like this. And I can always see it when it's full. I can do that too. I I get it. We are mostly water, so, you know, it doesn't surprise me that when things like that happen, it has an effect on us. I recently read, too, that Mars is in some kind of track with the, with Earth, and when that happens every, I don't know, some, some millions of years, it happens some every millions of years, and it, it, when it happens, that it disturbs our client, climate because it's of the, the magnetic field between the two planets and i'm thinking that doesn't sound very nice do we have to do that right now too <laughs> can we do something else now we're getting it all at once yes so um let's just uh, while while my brain is still available to you because you know i'm in and out a lot and sometimes it's mushy <laughs> Whenever well, you're ready, I still then. got sense. I will tell you that, um, you know, we're having a good, I say we, it's really going to be him. Uh, we we are having a um, sort of a seminar on Sunday, which you supposedly have the links to, and I hope you do. Cause... I do indeed. I do indeed, yes. There's going to be a private seminar on Divinate this, this Sunday. Where is Daniela's message? It'll be sort of a healing, healing. Um, you, I think and Siddhartha's taken control of this, so I can't swear because he tends to sometimes go off on a slightly different topic. 
but it <laughs> seems uh, he's a very good teacher but he he doesn't leave any stones unturned so you never know exactly where he's going to go but, that's what i like about him yeah he tends to start here and end up over here but hopefully he will teach people how to clear themselves and how to uh pull well, i'm sharing the wrong link there's the <laughs> there's your divinate link <laughs> whoops uh where did it go I could have we might have a lot of people on the link. where did it go <laughs> well there's her divinate link <laughs> There it is. This is in the private messages, Adela, Daniela. Thank you, Daniela. I got it now. There you go. <laughs> it's on. It's a Zoom event that's going to be with Siddhartha this this Sunday. Yes, exactly. Two to four. There you go. There's the link. And hi, um, Jordan. I can see your comment, sweetie. I would just refresh it and see if it works then, or maybe make sure that you're on the right Facebook page too, because if you're not on Astral Exploration, it might make it a little confusing. You might not see the chat then. So make sure you're on the right Facebook page. So yeah, there you go, guys. There's the link. Oh, I just commented. I copied Danielle's name too. Oops. There you go. <laughs> There's the link. So you guys can that's, sign up. That's funny. But anyway, we we're hoping to. He will actually impart uh, information about how to send healing to somebody else, how to pull it into yourself, how to clear your field. Uh, I think there's probably going to be a meditation involved in there somewhere. So, And it's a really reasonable rate for us. It's a, an amazing rate for us. So if ever you want to be in this space, and just even if you just want to be in the energy, please come. We would like you to show up because... Yes. It's always an interesting experience with him. It's never the same, you know. It's always Wonderful. amazing. He's amazing. Looks like a few of you are having issues with the comments. Yeah, I'm not sure. Just try and refresh it. Maybe go to the top of my Facebook page and, and load the you know, the Lara Star one and see if that works. Because there's no reason for it to not be working right now. It's very strange. There's also going to be a replay available for those of you who won't be able to make the Siddhartha talk live. You pay the $33, it's a Zoom link, and then you can see it in your uh, in your email later on if you miss it. So That's really nice. Yeah, that's wonderful, too, especially with time And I love that the, that the healing can still come through. You know, the soul guides know that you're watching the video even days, weeks later, and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, she's asking for healing. Let's do it. What happens with him, and I'm not sure it happens with everybody, but with him, when a person goes back the second time and listens to their session or the third time or the fourth time, they hear different things, but also it puts them right back in the same energy every single time. It, all of a sudden they feel like, oh, I'm right there again where I was when this was live. So it doesn't seem to matter whether it's recorded or not. There's some energetic in there that you know, it makes it possible for you to go back to when it happened. Well, time doesn't exist technically. Everything that's ever happened or ever will happen is happening simultaneously. So you can tap into that healing at any time. Well, he says there's no time and space. And if that's what he says, I'm good with that. <laughs> it's one of the things I would like to ask him about. One of my plans for today was to learn a little more about what it is to be a soul guide. Do you want to... Um, to... Uh, we're on a limited time here. So do you want to have him do a meditation or just answer questions? And if we could keep the Let's questions to more universal questions instead of really specific. Uh, well, you have the event ones. on Sunday as well. And I don't want to eat in too much of that. So we'll save the, the questions for Sunday and I'll, I'll mix in a couple questions. Maybe we'll do a meditation. We'll see what Siddhartha wants to do. I'm pretty oh, easy. Oh, he wants to you do know, everything. <laughs> We'll keep it to an hour chat with him so that way it won't go too, you know what I mean? And then we'll have 15 minutes with you after. How's that? That'll be fine. Um, and then we're then we're sticking to the schedule just fine. Okay. Uh, do you want to give the... I, I don't think you really need 15 minutes with me. If you want it, you can have it. But um, I love would chatting you like, with you. <laughs> oh, you do? I do. Thank you You so guys much. are the whole package. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice, isn't it? I keep moving this table because I don't want him to spill anything. He says, I do not spill. You spill. 
He's right. I do spill, but there's always that first time. <laughs> Love that. That's so funny. But uh, yeah, so shall we start with him now, or do you want to? Sure. Yeah, we're 15 okay. minutes in. That's perfect. Thank All you, right. Angelica. You're so, so welcome. And I'm glad I wasn't the only one not sleeping. I would have called you. Uh, I think most, that, most of the people in the comments said they didn't sleep well last night. So yeah. It was a, not a good night group. for sleeping. <laughs> No. So weird. What a great night oh. for me to give up cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on that. I'm but working. Least, you know, was it wasn't... the first one to tell me to do it, and I was like, mm, no. <laughs> and well, now, like can... a month or two later, I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, takes a minute. Um, pay attention to the energy around you because it's probably going to go up here in a second or two. Okay, he wants me to speak speak what we used to have him come in, mm -hmm. so you can borrow it if you want to. So here we go. We are light beings. We release all of our past negatives. We seek the light. We're protected by the light. Surrounded by the light, aspire toward the light. We're accompanied by the light. We are light beings. And we thank the universe for all it has given to us today and in the future. There you are. We're so happy to see you today. It's so happy to see you. How are you, Siddhartha? We are very well. We did not get a cupcake on our birthday, though. I was just about to ask you if you had a treat for your birthday. <laughs> we are knowing that, so we are answering questions. We take Pretty not for, for, vessels, for vessels bully. We like to uh, be careful with it. But it would have been nice to have some Indian food, don't you think so? I am drinking a chai in your honor this morning. Oh, like that. <laughs> it's best tea, it's right? Good. It's yeah, very good for body to have that tea. Not so much sugar like Americans drink it, but a little less. A little bit of honey is good. what I like. Very good. Very good for you, too. The I've been trying good to heed your it. advice recently. You, you've given me a lot of good advice, but it's taken me some time to heed it all. <laughs> it's all right. It takes time. So we hear that you have finished with the whole smoking thing. We like it. It's very good. I'm trying. I'm a work in progress. It's not easy to kick a 21-year habit. <laughs> do, you, do you know uh, you can be gentle with yourself? You don't have to do it like... It's not like diving in a pool. It's not all or nothing. You can make it less and less and less until you don't have it. You see? I'm I'm a very cold turkey type of person. I've quit a few things, just cutting it right out. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I want to. What, what do you know about blue lotus? Because we've been we've been hearing that that's a good alternative. We are not thinking so, but what we want to say is we don't know how cold that turkey might be. Hmm. That's a bad joke. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> You said we like to go cold turkey, and we're thinking, hmm, how, how cold could a turkey be? <laughs> Depends on the turkey. Correct. Uh, maybe maybe it has a little sweater or something, and that will make it warm. <laughs> we don't know. It's, yes, it's yes. not easy to, uh, to, to basically be trying to reinvent yourself, but that's what I'm working on. But guess what? Change is inevitable. It never stops. Everything changes. It's good for you to change too because the world is constantly becoming different all the time. And it's it's very good for your health to be... It's also good for awareness. For you, that's what we want. We want you to be very aware. And to do that, if nothing stops your senses from being uh, shrouded, you understand? Then what mm -hmm. happens is all of a sudden you're like antenna and some people would say we don't think that's a good idea we think very good idea that way you learn to see with this eye hear with this ear 
You understand what we mean? Yes, I'm already times, starting to see. Correct. And a lot of times, the we knew that would happen to you, by the way. But a lot of the time, when you start to break your bad habits, the ones you think, I can never stop doing that. I don't know if I want to. I don't. Yes. If you stop, guess what happens? Your body says, yes, they are being nice to me. And then the rest of you is waking up all the time. And one day you turn around, you see something you couldn't see before. You see the energy between your palms or around the tree or by your dog or your cat or another person too. Suddenly you will start to see that and you may think, what am I seeing? And then all of a sudden you go, that's real. That's there. That's light around that person. It could be in color. Usually it starts black or white, but then it goes to color. And then you will know that, for example, if someone's in pain, sometimes some people see red. If someone is a very divine being, they see this beautiful golden light around. What do you think of that? Won't it be nice to see complete? Isn't that how they knew you were Buddha? They saw your golden light around you when you were meditating. That's right. You remember that funny story, yeah. don't you? I do. The I golden light good. made you famous. <laughs> well, we were not trying to be famous. We were just happy to have resolved a certain peace and calm within the self, which is a very good want to have, you know, where you want to be at peace with yourself, no matter what's going on around you. It doesn't matter if there's drama, there's pain, there's terrible circumstance. If you can just be calm, what happens is it passes you by. You see what we mean? Yes. Because you're not being ruled by your own emotions. You are able to see with clarity from here because you're not having to worry about the heart is very sweet. But when the emotions get out of hand, also with solar plexus too, what happens is you get very crazy because all of a sudden your emotions are making decisions, not you. But when you can be calm, you see the truth. Not what you believe, but the, the truth. You understand? Yes. Something that I think many of us are working on at this moment to uh, stay calm during the chaos. Correct. And it's not just that. It's it's not external, it's internal that this happens. Do you see what we mean? Yes. yes and I when do. you can calm internal and you can break your family patterns, for example, you know, family does a lot of things, sometimes good, sometimes not so much. But when you can break the habits that have hurt you and grow beyond what you think you know, then all of a sudden you become very smart and very wise. You, mm. you get it emotionally and you also get it uh, spiritually and, and then the external, not a problem at all. Does yes. that make sense? It does. I think it's unhealthy to have a strong a real attachment to really anything, you know. It's it's good to just uh, take things as it come, as needed and not have. It's been a crutch for me for a long time. Somebody asked why I'm quitting. It's to... Uh, heighten my abilities while also freeing myself from any attachments. It's not easy Correct. to do. Correct. Yeah. Correct. But you are very fortunate because we have taken you under our wing, so to speak, and we want the best for you. We see your potential. You don't even see it yet, but you will. And when you see that, you will know many things you thought were true were not really exactly right. You understand what we mean? I'm learning that every day. <laughs> and you're getting very close to that. You're getting closer. And that's what we want all of you to do is become the best you you can be. Because you are all more than you think you are. We like that. We want a bumper sticker. Be the more that you can be, right? That's a and good one. Yes, we think so. We've got some others. We'll line them up for you. Make them product. No, we're kidding. It's very bad. <laughs> I need to make some actual Siddhartha memes. There's a lot of quotes floating around the internet that say they're from Buddha, but I don't think that you said them originally. No, <laughs> I you think are we right. need to make some real Buddha quotes. You're right, <laughs> very much so. Because people are very funny, and probably the people that actually said them would like to have the credit for that. 
uh, we are not needing credit for anything at all. But they might like, you know, that they said it, not, not us. But it is amusing to us that we see that all the time. Now we see some very nice pictures though. We like them, they're very pretty of what is supposed to be us that we did not like, we did not look like that uh, as human being. Sometimes when people have sessions with us, and you can try it right now if you're wanting to and listening, look past the physical form here, just look past it, okay? And if you can look past it, you might see translucent other face right here. And you might also see a color around the outside. You, you might see uh, some of the other beings that are, are coming with us all the time. You might see all of that. I went to close my eyes just now and my eyes are fluttering. It's weird. It's like, <laughs> I don't understand what that well, is. All the fluttering. When you close, you can see with this eye or these two. When you close your your physical eyes, you're seeing with these and you might see it in your head. Not it be like movie, okay? Not like a random thing and you'll know what you're seeing. Now, if you want to look with your eyes, because some people are better than that, then they usually see around. They're still seeing with this eye. But these are involved in a different way. And you might see the light that uh, is with us all the time. Is it the energies that I'm feeling right now? The, the, yes. That's causing my eyes to twitch? <laughs> I was wondering because it's yes. me. <laughs> no, thank you. If, if other people are having reaction, put it in comment. And when Vessel goes back and looks, she'll, she'll help you with what they mean. Because she's Wonderful. very good at doing that. But we think that you are you are getting stronger and better, and things that um, seem different to you are becoming more truth. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I uh, I noticed this yesterday. I was working with the medium doing clearings, and uh, right as I asked the question to the medium, I would get the answer in my own head first. And it was, and as soon as the answer came in, the medium would validate the answer by giving me their answer. And I was like, wow, I was right. And they're like, yes, you were. Because you <laughs> like were they knew. Your, you were hearing your own guidance. Possibly you were hearing them too. We could put that in your head if we want. It's, it's a wonderful we feeling to have my intuition heightening. Correct. That's why it's but worth giving is, up my favorite plant. <laughs> correct. And it might be better, you know, the more you get clear of things like that, the more precise this, that, everything becomes, okay? And the yes. more you tap into what is source to chakra, right? People do not understand chakra, not the right way. They don't understand how it connects you, your physical, to your uh, energetic being, yourself, your soul, your spirit whatever, and to source, whatever you want to call it. They don't get that. But once you're all connected proper, guess what happens? Everything becomes very much more clear. True. Can I ask about the soul star chakra? We don't hear much about that one. We may not call it that. What, what do you call it? Where it's the it one is? that, uh, it's above the crown. The one that connects it's you to your, yes. There are two, like that. Did you know that? Really? No, I didn't. Yes. Some people only see one because they connect to each other, you see. But there are really two there. Interesting. And, and so it's kind of complicated, but if you are taking photo, for example, you know you really have about 88 actual chakras in the whole system. You know that? Wow. This? No. 88 yes. chakras. Yes. Wow. And you only know the main ones because they're in charge of the other ones. But as you start to wake up or, or become more aware, they begin to open one at a time as they are able to, as they can do. And it's a very interesting thing. Do you ever wonder why some people, oh, let's see, who would, uh, Sai Baba was alive probably in your lifetime. Someone like him or Yogananda, you remember Yogananda Paramahansa? Mm, yes. Yogananda knew how to open all of that because he learned in India how to do it. Then there are some human beings who learn in different parts of the world how to do that. 
But most of the time, they open on their own when you are ready. You cannot force it. You just have this sudden, oh, that's what that is. I get, I get it. You see. And human beings are distracted by a lot of electrical devices that does not help anything at all. Now, we're not telling you go dump your cell phone in the river. Don't do that, okay? <laughs> you might still need it for communication or to watch us on podcast or something. That's a bad joke too, isn't it? But <laughs> That's a good one. A little bit of good. Yes. But we <laughs> think it's very funny too that people are unaware of what they really are. They don't get it. They don't. You don't understand your magnificence. You don't understand your frequency. You don't understand. You think you know a lot, but you really know a tiny bit. One drop of water. But one drop of water yes. could be as big as the ocean if you let it, right? Absolutely. It's quite different. It's much different than what people believe that is true. And because they think that way, they instantly shut down the idea that they could be more, that they are more, that they're connected to more. When all of this astrological stuff is going on, you know what happens? It's it's talking to your physical body. It's saying, pay attention, we're here. We want you to know that you are more than what you think. Isn't that fascinating? When the sun yes. is doing crazy things, when the planets are doing crazy things, when the moon is misbehaving itself by being too big and too bright, it's affecting everybody and they don't understand what's wrong. Most don't. Uh, but if you can understand, ah, yes, this is a moment. I can take this moment and I can learn one more thing about what is more in me. Imagine how exciting that is. We're all just trying to know ourselves better. Correct. And some people do not have awareness and it's good to speak it so they understand that they can do. You understand what we mean? When yes. you talk about things like this, you are telling people who are not aware. You are explaining. There's more. Hello. You you need to pay attention to this over here. And then you have to think bigger because you are more than you think. And you, every single person, no matter where they are in their life or their evolution as a human being or their evolution as a soul, with the, whatever abuse they suffered, whatever pain they've got, whatever illness they have, they internally can be more than they think. And if they would stop saying, no, I can't do that. No, I don't want to. I can't judge this. I can't do this. Don't do it. Say, maybe I can. Maybe. Just, just give yourself a little tiny bit of hope. A little hope goes a long way. There's a really good question that Linda wanted to know. She says she's been listening to a few chats uh, with a little healing included. Do you think that you are connecting with us when we call for you, when we ask for you? I have asked for your help a few times and I feel that you do, especially when someone I am with needs help badly. Yes. And I don't think I can do it on my own. Yes. Yes. We hear you. We hear you. We hear all of you. It may not seem possible, but we do. And we'll tell you something else. You all have your own guidance that comes with you through the door. You think you're by yourself. You're lonely. Oh, I'm so lonely. Our vessel always says, you've got 10,000 angels around you. Why are you lonely? That makes no sense. We think that's pretty funny. But it's true, and it may not be angels. You may be Eastern beings. It could be anybody that is with you that you have asked. All you have to do is ask. That's it. Yes. The soul guides will not violate your free will by doing it for you without you asking. You must ask. Absolutely. You must ask. Yes, because we need your permission. We don't want to impede on your will. We don't want to do that. We don't want, it's like stepping on toes. We don't want to do that, right? Yes. We want to make sure that it's okay with you, that we do these things and we do them with your permission. This is why prayer works so well. 
speak that You're giving again. permission when you when you pray, yes? Yes. Yes. And it's interesting your Easter is coming. Uh, because you know people pray on Easter. Oh, thank. You. And if they're not, if they're not religious that way, they are uh, interested in spraying and Austera and Bridget and all of this. And that's good too. There's no limit to what you can do. And people are very limited in how they think. But if they would just not think that way, imagine what all of you could do if you just thought, "I can do it," or maybe I can do it. Do you watch this movie, Star Wars? You know how Rachel <laughs> likes to watch movies, right? Yes. Well, we learn. We learn when we watch them, you see. It helps our English a little bit. What did you think about Star Wars? The little green man, the little one with the big ears. <laughs> Yoda, you liked Yoda, did you? Because Yoda says, do not, it is not try. There is no try, there is only do. That's true. It's not untrue. If you just try, it, you know, if you just do and don't think about try, guess what happens? Everything. It's like magic. Yes? yes. And you don't have to be a Jedi to do it. Come on, that was a little amusing, yes? But Source, if you think about it, Source is, is uh, and Chi, it's all the same thing. It's Correct. The force. Correct. We like that word, Force is with you, because it's talking about your free frequency and your energetic and your internal energetic is your soul you had very smart men that lived on this planet uh, his name was einstein and he said you cannot destroy energy you can only transform it that's it and what are you if you are not energy you just think mm -hmm. you're physical that's the problem stop thinking it you are more we love that. Don't you love that? It's good to know yes. that all of you are more. That you're all beautiful beings of light that walked the earth in a very beautiful way. And that is your true, we use the word power because we don't have a better one, but that is your true essence. It is your truth. We did not know we were getting philosophical today. That was a lot of work <laughs> to say. That was much work. Yes. We're, I'm going to start taking some quotes and making some real Buddha memes. That's very good. <laughs> Let's choose a pretty. You know, picture. one of one of my favorite quotes. It's been one of my favorites since I think I was a teenager. I'm wondering if this is yours or someone else's. In the end, only three things matter: how much you loved, how great, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let go of things not meant for you. We think you know that belongs one? to someone else. But yes, also a great so. philosopher. And we don't disagree with you if that makes you feel much better. That's good. <laughs> it's been a very long time since I've been in human form. And when I was alive, remember, people did not read and write like they do today. In fact, I was son of prince, son of king. I was prince. And I made sure that people learned that. Because even people that were not supposed to be... Mm, uh, what do they call him now? Uh, the untouchable people. We made sure they were all educated because I did not like that system of you are this and you are that and you are this because you have money and you don't have money. I don't like it. Mm. All human beings are very similar. It's a matter more of evolution. It's the evolution of heart and soul. Make sense to you? Yes, beautifully said. And I wanted to ask you important. a little bit about um, your last day on Earth. Did you did you pass as an older version, or did you? Uh, how old were you in that? I was in my eighties when it. You know, in India, there's a very special birthday. Your eightieth birthday. It is celebrated as a as a symbol, and because you've made it to eighty, you become a very wise person just because you turned eighty. And you survive your whole life. That's, a, that's amazing, right? So there yes. is a name for that festival. You'll have to look it up. But when I was, I was a little bit older than 80, but I was tired. You know, most people did not live that long at that time because there were diseases and things that happened to you and animals that could eat you and, you know, things like that. But I, I did. 
And when I left, I chose that. It was not illness that took me. I was like uh, Yogananda. I, I just left. And it made my uh, community very sad that I left like that. And some people that were very close to me were very sad. But I left everything in good hands so that it could survive. And I don't take credit for saying anything because all of it came from me. What do you call today when that happens? A download? We would yes. not call it exactly download, but the things would come to me from others. You understand? Yes. And that's how I would teach people because it was good. For us, nothing changes. Life is important. You know, there's no heaven and hell. There's no, uh, nothing like that. It's very much an internal struggle with uh, yourself. And we think that is yes. a lot of the truth. And the energetics can be quite different, that's true. And when I hit what I call Nirvana, which is the perfection of the body and everything, when I hit that place, I thought, great, I won't have to learn anymore. I'll just go be at peace. Guess what? You never stop to learn. You're always learning. So when I left my body, I, I went uh, uh, up to what is a very high frequency, and I don't have to come back. That's why I come this way, because I don't have to return. I don't want to. Uh, Jesus is always talked about as he will come back. He may not want to either. Oh, we might have gotten a lot of people in trouble <laughs> just saying that. Jesus is very nice. We tell you, he's very nice. He's very sweet. But, we, uh, we did get that impression. His, his real name was Yeshua, correct? Yeshua. Yeshua, yes. Yeshua. We are not sure we're speaking it correct, but we're close. Close enough. Many yeah. of our, <laughs> our clients call him Yeshua. Yes, and we always think that is interesting they're calling him that he doesn't what does care. i'm just curious i'm actually this is a question for both of you how do you feel about the way that religion has evolved following your life well for us we were not expecting religion i was hindu you see and <laughs> i became what i did sitting under a tree with people watching me it was very weird uh, and i didn't understand because i was young and very foolish too but uh, it was interesting to to me that how do we thousands talk of years later we're still talking about you <laughs> because when i would talk to the community they would come people would just come that happened in that time people would do, i walked a lot i like to so i would walk from place to place all the time and i would sit and rest when we needed it and people would find us somehow i don't know uh, mostly word of mouth, no no internet, of course, so they got their information different ways. But they would come, and I could send energy through a body and make it better. People do that still today. It's not different. We just had maybe a more clear version of it. But you, are, you don't need a system to do that. You just need a good intention with a good heart and compassion for the person that suffers to do that. You see this also in England, and we think maybe Germany too, where they just send energy. They don't think about Reiki or uh, any of those kinds of systems. They don't do that. They just well, source, send it, and then it does the rest of the work, which is very interesting to us. But that's what we did, and we would do it all the time. And sometimes uh, there would be children, lots of children around that got no family. They were orphaned there. I couldn't stand it, so I took them in. We took them in, and we would uh, get them clothes and shoes and clean and take care of them and teach them to read and write and learn and yes. use art. I was one of those orphans, I believe, correct? We think yes. so, you are too, too, absolutely true. Many people who find us are finding us because they knew us from that time. Many of us walked Some, with you. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's very amusing to our vessels. She walks into a house she's never been to. Buddha poster, Buddha light, Buddha fountain, <laughs> Buddha. She looks at us and she says, really? Really? Are we here for that? Really? Do you think? And we just 
laugh and go on about our business, but we are amused by that. Because we know, they know us before, they know us now, no difference, no difference. Yes. Good words travel, you know, Jesus' words were very good. Muhammad's words were sometimes very good. Uh, Mother Teresa, you know, some of the saints, some of the angels, all the words are good. It's what resonates with you. What do you want from yourself? It's not up to us to choose you. Hindu people are very smart too. They have more gods and goddesses, but you know, they have, they have a belief system that also works for them. So it's not what you believe. It's how you live what you believe. That's it. That would be a good meme, right? Yes, you like absolutely. This? I it's do. How, how you live what you believe. It's not what you believe. You can believe anything you want. Not doesn't make it true. You have to decide if it's true or not. That's you. You have to decide. We are hearing people yeah. going ah, like that. What? Why are we? <laughs> why are we scaring you with it? Do you, do you understand? Did you have a epiphany or what? We don't like that word. <laughs> An awakening. It's weird. We're getting a lot of downloads recently. You know, many of us are being bombarded with uh, new thoughts, feelings, emotions. And so it is uh, a very trying time for us. Do you have you any can... advice maybe, maybe yes. from even Chinese doctor for this? Yes. Well, Chinese doctor is a doer rather than a talker. But... We do love him because he's very smart. He's, okay, we'll tell you his real name is Toshi. And he's really uh, Japanese, not Chinese. And he's not a doctor. He's an energy shifter. But we are very yes. amused at calling him Chinese doctor. And he takes it well. He does a lot of smiling and bowing. <laughs> he does not speak English. He sends you thought with uh, fe uh, feeling, not with words. But uh, we understand him very well. But we will tell you that what you are getting is not always clear. You have to decide, is this real or not? Is it the truth, the whole truth or not? Is it just a belief system that works for now? And here's one thing human beings are not good at. They will not test their own belief systems. Whoa, that's big what we just said you have to test is that really work and i will tell you why you may have outgrown that you see you may have absolutely outgrown what you believe and now you're ready for step number two or three or five or fifty but always things change because you are nothing stays the same change is the only permanent thing that there really is they always Make this joke in America, death and taxes you can count on. Well, maybe so, but you can't count on everything staying the same, even with death and taxes. You see, even they change. Do they not? Yes. So We're hoping it, it will is, anyway. <laughs> That's is, the plan. It is, <laughs> yes, it is very important for every single person and to pass this to other people too. Every single person must in their heart and in their solar plexus, because both are equally emotional uh, centers. You yeah. must decide, does that work for me? Is it my truth? Is it the truth? Or is it just a belief someone wants to sell their book or their philosophy or their whatever? And it's hard for human beings to get that clear and get it, get it to they under where they understand it. We think you are right in the process of doing it. Did you know that? I think so too. Yes. <laughs> we see your potential. We see all the potential of people that listening, listening to this, and we are very proud of you in another human way. We're proud of your frequency. We're proud of your heart and your ability to tap into not a million other things, but yourself. Wow, what's so big? It's a miracle. It's magic. People don't think there's real magic. There is. 
The real magic is when you understand you at the highest possible level you could understand yourself. And sometimes that does not come until you transition over. But you know what? You've got a lot of time to walk and to find yourself and to find who you are and the more that you are. And people who just do job because they have to make money and they're bored and they hate it and they don't like the person that's their partner or who they're married to, change it. Change it. Please change it. Because that is not who you are. If it does not feel good, it is not you. Thank you for that. Many of us needed to hear that message. We are knowing that and we understand it too. Just say you can try. Will it happen overnight? Some people, yes, because some people can just... We have one young man, man that we talk to as a friend of our visa. And when he decides something's not working, done, that's it. You cannot believe how fast he can change a thing. And his word is allow, we like it. If you allow the change to happen, it can happen almost instantly if you wanted to. Now, if you're like, I don't know, I'm afraid. What if I do this? What if I leave that job? What if I try to open? Try it. What do you have to lose? And you don't have to like jump into the head, into the pool head first. You can take your time and put a toe in and then your whole foot and then your leg and then maybe up to your neck. But guess what? You'll learn to swim, will you not? Yes. That's a very odd parable, but it works, we think. Thank you so much for that. I, I think that uh, it's going to help quite a few people. There's already, you've got people crying in the comments already. <laughs> so that was a message. We, it must have deeply resonated. We are so happy that you hear the words and you take them to your heart and you get it. Many people hear words and they don't get you all get it. You're in the place where you can hear our words. And we like that a lot. We love that about you. And don't think we can't hear you. We hear you all the time. We are not, uh, we can hear more than one person. People say, how can you do that? Sounds like Santa Claus, does it not? Like mythical Santa, go to everyone's house on one night. Well, guess what? We can do it. It's not a problem. And that is because we are not physical. We are energetic beings, just like you. Accept that about yourself. You are not this. This is nothing. Nothing is physical. Yes, it's all an illusion. Correct. When you're in, when you're on the other side, if you are, let's say, being if you're a soul guide, um, are things physical on your side too? Can you make something seem physical? Or is everything just kind of malleable? We can, we can do that. This is how Vessel is able to see uh, people that come back uh, from like a grandma or, or something. They can uh, coalesce into an energetic being, okay? Some mm -hmm. of them have not graduated to a point where that no longer happens. Now we, um, how to put, we are energetic beings. And that is all we will be from this point. Uh, but it's natural for us. We've been this way for quite some time. Jesus is that too. Mm, Lord Shiva, your friend. Uh, mm -hmm. Also Green Tara. All of, all of these beings that you are. Even death, believe us or not, this is a being. He frightens people when he shows up. Though he he's not meaning to be that way. He's actually quite honorable in a certain respect. I know that's going to open a lot of questions, isn't it? Uh, but because he's an archetype that you have as human beings invested in over a long period of time, he exists. Was he there before? Possibly. But you see, nothing is solid. Nothing is permanent. Nothing is uh, um, to stay the same way. It won't. But as human beings, it is best to value the you that you are, the more that you are, the soul, the spirit, 
the beauty that you are, but it's also very good to understand that as a human being, you are responsible to other people too, to love them, to care for them. You cannot help everyone. And sometimes the best way to help a person and listen to these words very carefully is not to help them. Sometimes they have to make their own circumstance in their own way. Help when you can. Help where you must. But also let go when you can't. Why not? Yes. You don't want to interrupt their life lesson. You can't, you know what I mean? You're you're supposed to let people learn things for themselves so they don't have to repeat that life again. Well, here's the other interesting thing. You're always going up grade, like in school, right? Every step you're going up. And so eventually you get to where you don't have to go further. You're going as far as you can go, which is beyond human comprehension, we think. But what is interesting to us is parents are, we hate to tell you parents, but you are the worst because you want to hold your children, most of you, not everyone, but you want to hold them. You want to make sure, are they doing the right thing? Can I get them out of this problem? Can I do this? Can I do that? It's not your job to do this. It's your job to talk to them, to make an understanding of your experience so they get it. It is your responsibility to make them good human beings if you can do that. Yes. But what is not your responsibility is to try to get them out of trouble where they learn a lesson they must learn. It is not your responsibility to uh, make them navigate the path you want them to to navigate that doesn't Mm. fit them. We always tell this story. You'll like it, we think. We had a lady come to us one time, and she was a very funny lady. She had been through terrible things, terrible, terrible abuse, horrible. She hid it from people that knew her, but it was horrible. We could see it. We usually see that with human beings. And she said to, to us, what can I do? Should I keep doing the same thing? Should I stay in this business? Should I do that? Should I... And we said, look, imagine this. And we want all of you to sit in your head. Imagine this. You have a favorite shirt, right? You love this shirt. Every time you go out, you put it on. You have been wearing it for years and years and years. And you just can't part with it because it has become part of your skin. You have had it so long. One day you make a mistake. You put it in the washing machine, uh, the machine that makes clothes clean. And you shut and put on hot water. You forget. You don't change the thing. You take it out. You throw it in the thing that makes it dry. And you put that on hot and you forget. You did not change it. The knob, right? You mm-hmm. get it out. And instead of fitting you, now it's this big. <gasps> because what? You shrunk it. So now you've got this little thing. What do you do with it? Do you keep it and try to wear it when it might come up to here? <laughs> And the arms come up to here and your neck is squeezed in the... Are you going to keep it? You want to give it away? You're going to have it for a memory and stick it in the drawer? What are you going to do with it? You want to not keep something that doesn't work. It doesn't fit you anymore. Is it not okay to gift it to someone else? Is it not okay to... uh, Toss it if you need to, or make a little ceremony and get rid of it. Why not? Because guess what? In your future, there's another new shirt that will become your favorite. Will fit you perfect with no adjustment whatsoever until the next time you shrink it and have to try a new one. That is your life. Do you see it? I still have a shirt that I've owned for 35 years that I haven't thrown away yet because I love it. <laughs> so, yeah. So you really understand the story very well. And it was a perfect you, message, yes. Looks like I need to clean too. out my closet. <laughs> Correct. But more than that, your life. You outgrow human beings. Uh, you outgrow relationships. You outgrow jobs. You outgrow all of that that makes you miserable and still you do it. Because you're afraid if you stop, if you stop, some big thing is going to happen and terrible things, terrible things will happen. It's not true. Sometimes you can 
in the relationship, a husband, a wife, or whatever, a partner, doesn't matter, you don't feel good with them anymore. They make you feel bad about you. Or you make them feel bad about them. But if this terrible dynamic is if it used to work, it doesn't work anymore because guess what? You have grown. You've grown. You've gone from a cocoon to a little butterfly, right? And you cannot stay in the cocoon anymore. You've got to grow. So you don't hurt that person. You say, I'm really sorry. It's not working. I love you. Thank you for being my teacher. I appreciate everything I learned from you. We can still be friends if you want. Sometimes you can't. That is true. And you just have to allow them the time to accept that you are not the same anymore. And that is huge. We hear people crying over that too. And it's, it's very hard to grow. Very hard to grow. But when you look back in your life, when you get to the end and you look to that moment, you'll go, what did I learn? Wow, that was a turning point for me. I got this great, better job. I found my perfect mate. I got a better family, whatever it is. I made the invention I was supposed to. I taught people how to do things that I love so much. Why not? Don't be afraid to extend your wings and try to fly a little bit. You don't have wings for nothing. You've got them because you are but a fly. True. I feel like I'm in the goo stage still, but we're getting there. <laughs> we're in the in between, really, is what it feels like. I'll tell you one more butterfly story. Our vessel, a long time ago when she was working at a real job, she calls. She was at this place where they were, it's like a little fair or something where people walk around and so forth and get your stuff. Well, she was with someone who was uh, making uh, different kinds of product at that point. And the lady next door to them, and they were both, she had a butterfly and little triangular boxes. They had not come out of cocoon yet, right? So she got one, her friend got one, she took it home, and the instructions were put it on shelf and don't touch it, leave it alone. At that time, she had different cat. Cat was named Tommy, he was very smart, that cat. So Vessel put the butterfly, she, they said, two weeks it'll be out and you can put it outside and it's fine. Well, that butterfly was so late, it was about four or five weeks, she, she almost tossed it. Because she thought, this butterfly is not coming out of that cocoon, it must be dead. Well, one day she and cat and dog were trying to watch a movie, surprise there. And then... She went into another room, and when she came back, the cat is sitting there looking at this box. This little rectangular, had a little window in the front. And cat is sitting, she said, what's that weird? What's he doing? And then she realized it's coming out of the little cocoon thing, right? Which was hanging in the center of this box, this little pyramid. And so they sat there and they watched this butterfly all day. It was supposed to be like four hours and then you could turn it loose because it had to dry its wing. It didn't. It took all day and all night. And it still wasn't ready. So she waited. The next day it looked okay. She thought, okay, now I go let it out. And it was moving kind of slow. She thought, you know, I really need to get it uh, some food and water. So she got a little bowl of water. That was not in the instructions, by the way. And she got a little, the only thing that was blooming, because it was still sort of this time of year, was some kind of plant with a flower in the front. She took that. It crawled up in the flower and ate. It drank water. And then it didn't leave. It stayed right there. She thought, well, what am I going to do with it? It's got to move along, right? So it got back in the box and she thought that's weird. So cat, dog and butterfly back in house. And she opened the little door on the box and let it so it could be in the, the, the porch part of the house and by itself it was fine. And it was warm enough because it was glassed in. And she waited 
And she waited. And every day she offered, can you want to go outside butterfly? Do you want to go? Four, five, six days. It had a two-week <laughs> lifespan, but like forever this butterfly would not leave. One day she comes to check on it, and it is up against the door. Oh, it wants to go now. It's almost too late for its lifetime, but okay, we'll just open the door. She opened the door. It looked at her, and it flew up and flew over the house and disappeared. And so that butterfly took its own time. It told her what she wanted, what she needed to do for it. And that's life too, isn't it? You can't rush what's not ready. So take your time. Thank you, Siddhartha. Enjoy your life as you have it. What do you think of that? I think it's a very beautiful message and perfectly timed for this shift that we're going through internally and externally. Yes, people now want everything fast. Fast is not always mm. good. It's not bad. But some butterflies need a little bit more time than most. That's just Some of us are kind of hoping it slows days. down. <laughs> right now it's been speeding up. Correct, that's true. It's amusing to us that time does seem to speed up very fast sometimes, does it not? Yes, it's very clearly subjective. Did you have questions for us that you want to know? Because we are just yammering and telling you stories. And oh, I love, I, I could talk to you all day. I would never be bored. I, I love everything you say and you give such good insight. My intuition is asking me though, as, a, as I'm wondering if we could get some healing for everybody watching today from um, yes. Toshi. Oh, yes. Yes, we usually do that, but yes. Johnny's doctor, Thank you. They, want, they want help. Can you do? Tell yes. us, think, think what you want to have worked on. And let's just take a little quiet meditation. We'll, we'll help you, okay? Perfect. So everyone, you know the story here is to, and we'll show you first and then we do three times, okay? So you want to call in beautiful golden light into your crown chakra. You want to pull it down through the third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, and hold it there. Now at the solar plexus, you want to think about everything you'd like to get rid of and then you will breathe out very slow that okay we do that three times are you ready okay mm. breathe in beautiful golden light and pull it all the way down to the ground third eye throat heart solar plexus and hold now think about what you want to get rid of can be anything anything at all and when you are ready, breathe out very slow. Good. Now number two, breathe in beautiful golden light through the top of the ground to the third eye, the throat, the heart, the solar plexus, and hold it. All the things that cause you pain, things you need to get rid of, what does not work for you? Sink it and then breathe it out very, very slow. One more time. Breathe in beautiful golden light through your crown chakra. You might feel pressure here on your top of your head, your third eye, your throat, your heart, solar plexus and hold. Very good. Everything that does not work needs to go. Become your new self and now breathe out very slow, very nice, good. Now, feel Chinese doctor. Yes, if those of you that have angelic connection, you'll feel Raphael behind you. Feel an, uh, uh, Chinese doctor Toshi behind you. You'll feel the energy in the back of your spine going up and down. We're going to clap and open everything. One, don't be scared. One, two, three. There we go. This is how Chinese doctor opens like that. Make bigger. Good. Good. It's uh, like a little tornado that goes around your body and will clear your whole field. 
get rid of the baggage you are carrying on your shoulders, just let it go. Flick it off if you want, or Jenny doctor will take it. Now, through your crown chakra, we will go through the energetic. We'll go through the top of your head. You might feel tingle or touch or something, pressure. And then your third eye, which you might feel tingle or touch or pressure. You'll feel it front to back. But this will be in alignment with crown chakra to the throat chakra. Yes. Good. Now, the throat chakra goes through the last uh, vertebrae in the neck and the first one in the back. And it sits in this little V that is on your uh, collarbone. Yes. So feel that. Look in your mind. See what color that looks like to you. See what color your crown is. See what color your third eye is. Can you see it? Yes. Good. Now, feel energy between shoulder joints from one to the other. Like this. Clear off the baggage. That's not your baggage. Get rid of it. It belongs to others. You don't need it. Okay. Down the arm to the elbow. From the elbow to the wrist. Into the palm of the hand. Each hand. If you put your palms up, you'll feel a tingle. Open it like that. You'll open it like this. Good. Good. Now, from the throat to the heart, any pain you have, it can be physical pain, can be mental pain, can be emotional pain, it can be energetic pain. Feel the heart chakra open very, very big and see the color of it in your mind. And any kind of emotion you get, grief, guilt, pain, you don't have to get rid of the love and excitement. And that's, you don't need it. But the guilt, guilt the grief, grief, the suffering, the pain. Imagine what has caused all of that for you. The lack of confidence is another one. People think ego and confidence are related. They are not. They are separate. Ah, you felt it. Somebody just opened it in the back of their heart. The heart chakra also runs front to back and vertical. Now, imagine all of that pain in a bowl. B-A-L-L, -L, not a B-O-W-L. And push it out with your own hands. Or let Chinese doctor do it. He's very good at it. And watch it go up, up, up into the others where you'll not see it again. That's right, you, you are knowing what we are talking. Now we get to the solar plexus. Have you heard people say, oh, that hit me in the gut when they said that? Of course it did. Because your harsh emotions go to solar plexus. This is your center of balance. Okay? And so what you want to do there, and you know, if this is not clear, you can have uh, indigestion issues, uh, diabetic, you like this, uh, all of that kind of stuff. Trouble with your digestion. Trouble with the organs from there down. And you don't want that. Even your stomach, which is here, or your liver, which is on the other side of it. So we want you to see all of the harsh emotions, the anger, the upset, things people have sent to you that don't belong to you, uh, your lack of confidence, anger, uh, depression, whatever, fear, all of that. Imagine that whole bundle of energetics that are not very pleasant. See them in a big bowl in your center, okay? And again, when you've got the... And you can also say, and whatever I don't remember. You don't always remember what happened to you. So that works for heart and also for uh, the solar plexus. All right. Yes, 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 you're working. We know we're going fast, but you'll, you'll catch up. Yes, like that. Okay, good. Now, what you'll do is have Chinese doctor come push that out of your solar plexus and look at it go up like that. Isn't that magic? Bye-bye. You won't need to have that anymore. Okay. Now, see in your solar plexus a big, beautiful golden sun. Now, it can be any golden you want. It can be yellow golden, orange golden, red golden, pink golden. We don't care. But 
see it going round and uh, bright and feel the energy go up through your body and down through it too. And what that does for you is anytime you feel off or out of balance or nervous or whatever, see that sun and let it work for you. Why not? It's yours. You can do whatever you want. But get back in balance. You'll feel it also in your back bone. Not just in front, but in the back too. Very good. Let's go back up to the heart. We will push that ball out if we have not done already. But look at the color. What color do you see in your mind for the heart? Green. Beautiful. Very beautiful. And your throat too? Creativity. If you're not talking when you hear something in your mind, speak it. You're supposed to. That's a, a message for someone. Be gentle. Don't be harsh. Be gentle. You know, you say, I intuitively feel this. Would you like me to share it? And if they say no, don't. If they say yes, yes. of course, do it. <laughs> but be gentle. Don't, don't be harsh. Okay. Now we travel on down to the sacral chakra, which people get very confused about. This is another connection so you can speak to both earth and other types of beings, okay? So you want to clear that, we're going to clap, and any energy there that does not belong to you, will just take it, okay? So one, two, three, Chinese doctor. <coughs> mm, that's good, yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's nice. Ah, very nice. Okay, good. Now, Go down to the root. The root is so important. The root is important because it is connecting you to Gaia, your mother earth. So your crown chakra connects you to, we will call heaven. You can call whatever you want, energetic. And uh, the root connects you to what is you, the ball you are standing on, what is earth. Earth is both spiritual, alive being, and physical the ball that you live on okay it's not separate ah we feel someone's root there open we do that too one two three <sighs> ah good tosh is very good at opening that yes up into the hip joints and if you have a hip uh, misalignment we fix it there you'll feel it in the back of your bones down to your knees we fix one knee other knee Probably like that's better. Yes. Two. Same thing. Down to your ankles. One, two. Good. We like that. We're going to clear. Someone's got very difficult bones in their ankles. We're just clear. We put light back in there to the heel of your feet. Now, at the, each foot has a, in the arch a little chakra there. One on each foot. We clear them both. One, two, three, one, two, three, and this way, like that. Good, open it, yes, good. Now you'll feel the energy start, and from the top of the head, feel it come down, all the way down, 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 down to root, down your legs, into your feet, and out that chakra. Beautiful connection. Now we clear the balls of the feet, one, two, three, one, two, three. And all of your toes too. Good. Now sit very still and breathe very softly. Breathe in very nice and hold it. And breathe out a little bit and hold it. Now we say this to you and feel it when we speak it. All the energy from the universe, the energetics from the universe, come in through the skin. They come into the head through the skin, through the scalp, through the bone. They come in through the physical body, through the skin, into the uh, physical body, into the bone. It clears everything in the bone. It clears all of the circulatory system. It clears all of the genetic system. 
it fixes all your back we're actually going to lift the backbone up for everyone because let's do that again one two three we're going to lift it up from the bottom there you go but just allow it don't be scared it's all right all the way up to the neck one more time yes we know you feel that we know who that is we like that when we do it yes okay all right now feel the energy up and down your backbone good good now through every muscle every blood vessel every bone every tissue every ligament every organ every lung every liver every kidney every uh what do they call it uh intestine every single part of your body the energy comes what needs to be fixed what needs to be healed what needs to be aligned what needs to be corrected is fixed aligned healed and corrected yes even what hurts that's right if there are any sort of other weird attachments they are gone they will not be able to stay in this vibration and now fix your genetics if there anything that you want to get rid of do it and it goes into your dna and allow it to make you well now it takes time to absorb this kind of energy but we love you and we'll keep you and we'll hold you in the energy if you want us to do that yes please thank you siddhartha we need to do one more thing we need to put all mm -hmm. of you in a happy easter egg okay so see ourselves in beautiful golden egg there you go we like it what do you think of that i feel amazing i can i can almost feel it's like getting an energetic massage Correct. when chinese doctor is working on you and when you are also shifting the energy so thank you i, I feel amazing understand chinese doctor can make himself as many people as he wants to be he's not one he's able to you could call it clone himself energetically and therefore he can be with everybody at the same time it's not like santa claus but not it's very different <laughs> oh we we feel amazing and thank you so much we love you siddhartha i am deeply deeply grateful for everything that you've done for this community and in, in the past the present and in the future come and join us we are going to talk about interesting things and healing and so forth on yes. this week weekend on easter day, easter day Perfect. is it not a good gift to give someone on easter day it's a phenomenal it gift perfect gift we think i'm going to so share it for those who are watching now so they can sign up for the event on sunday we are not knowing a lot about that but we thank you for doing it we don't know how to take it, it. Do it but we thank you for doing it there we go we do that it is now, an honor think... it's always so wonderful to talk with you you're very welcome rethink that shirt you've got in the drawer <laughs> okay can you do yeah, it i will all right anything else no my love thank you so much we'll see you on easter we give you our blessing we thank you babaji we are so grateful for that we like being called babaji <laughs> so we say to you you're all good students we thank you for being here today you honor us with your presence and you give us happiness that you have done we love you, protect you, know you, honor you. We wish for you what you wish for yourself. And we say to you, Om Mani Padme Hum. And we say that we honor the jewel in the lotus, which is you. Your soul, your body, your beingness. And we thank you for that. And with that, we say, see you very soon. Namaste. Namaste. Whew. I think my eyeballs are stuck. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, do they want to open? I don't think so. That's pretty Wow, funny. that was amazing. I got chills all over when he was working on me. And uh yeah, wow. That was that was amazing. If you can put in the comments the people that are watching what experience you kind of had while he was doing that, I'd be interested to know. While they, sorry, yeah, they were doing always that. reads through the comments later, guys. So make sure that you leave some uh, some feedback on how you were feeling when you were doing the meditation. 
because we appreciate yeah. that very much. I like it. It's very interesting to me to see what happens with people. Yeah. I think it was perfect timing. What happened to them. I mean, what a wonderful chat today. Were you, do you hear our conversation or do you have to watch it later? I watch it later. And I don't always do that. Um, I have a very short attention span normally. So I, if I get into it, I say, oh, he's doing pretty good. Okay, that's oh, that's enough. <laughs> but if it's it really interesting, and I can kind of tell when I'm reading the comments what was going on, and then I, I'm understanding the reaction to it. It's just a fascinating thing. Understand, we're used to working one-on-one -on -one with people as opposed to larger groups. Now, we've done, you know, 20, 30 people at a shot, but this it was 175 is, today. Really? Oh my God. 175 across all three. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what's interesting. I am absolutely certain, and I might be wrong, but I feel like he touches every single person on the call. Like he literally <laughs> does that, you know? And I love how he's picking up stuff too, because he'd be like, oh, you liked that, didn't you? Because <laughs> when he could feel that somebody was like, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, and someone told yeah. us that they were getting a message from him while he was talking, and I know that happened. I do know that he can do stuff like that. It doesn't happen often, but on occasion, he will do that for whatever reason. Maybe he feels like they need more comfort, or maybe they need this or that. I don't know, but he does do things like that, and I can't say I know exactly what he can't do i mean or what he can do i don't know i'm learning all the time the i think he's still kids. learning what he can do he's like oh i can do this cool <laughs> you, know, you can tell that the soul guides are still you know evolving just as we are well he's really funny he know, i know he knows how to do things because i don't know if i told you but the first podcast we did i was in my dining room which is the room right over here and i was watching him thinking what's he going to do with this many people because I didn't know what he would do with them. It's like when he talks to children, sometimes I thought, whoa, the first time he did that, I thought, what, what, what's he going to do with that? You know, and he did really well with it, amazingly. Uh, but it, it was really was funny. First I saw, in crowd. <laughs> yeah, he, he, there was a big golden ball around him. And there was another thing above that that kind of came up and went down, which I think was going to other places. And and he he was sitting in a way that I don't normally sit because I've broken my back a couple of times, but he was sitting perfectly straight. And I was <laughs> like, what is he doing? And I mean, the energy in here, I thought the walls were going to blow out. It was so strong. And I could see what he was seeing. I could see like he was in the UK and he was in New Zealand and he was here and there and wherever the people were, that's where he was. He was everywhere. And it kind of was, I was not like, just I him. Have... He's explaining there's so many soul guides and deities and, you know, Yeshua and just so many different ones coming in to help us right now. It feels amazing. Well, he's, he, he just knows how to do that. And he knows he's a good facilitator. I didn't know that for a long time, nor did I know how big he could really be. And I think he, he's got limitless amounts of energy he's just trying not to blow my body up <laughs> i think it's, <laughs> it's like, we won't give her too much more than that she might uh, erupt or something uh, you know it's kind of funny but i true. love it but uh, well we i'm going to share the link one more time for everybody we're going to have to cut it short guys because sure. i've got a chat with uh with andy starting now so the oh. chen talk is starting in just a minute you guys i'm going to rush between the two there's angelica's link on divinate and then, um, yes, and here's the link for the Siddhartha talk that will be on Easter Sunday. That's right. Thank you so much for uh, inviting us today. It's an and absolute pleasure. He, he says maybe now he can have a cupcake. No, no, you cannot have a cupcake. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I will make a cupcake in his honor. Oh, uh, you, Marina, we actually had to move the time sweetie we had to move it a little earlier for andy's sake so yeah we're going to be starting the talk with siddhartha and i start siddhartha with chen one minute ago so i love you angelica <laughs> we'll see you soon have a wonderful rest of your day i you love too. you guys i'll see you on with chen Mwah. bye angelica <laughs> bye bye